Welcome to the spoken tutorial on using single board heater system virtual labs on Windows OS. In this spoken tutorial, we will learn about software installations required on the remote user's computer, using SVHS website, performing a step test experiment remotely. As a prerequisite, watch the following tutorials Introduction to SVHS and Introduction to XCOS. These are available on the Spoken Tutorial website. I am recording this tutorial on a Windows 7 32-bit operating system. Ensure that Scilab is installed on your computer. Scilab can be downloaded from sbhs.os-hardware.in slash downloads or www.scilab.org. Please note that you will need internet connectivity to install Scilab. All SBHS experiment Scilab codes are written using Scilab 5.3.3 and is the recommended version. A higher version of Scilab will work equally well. However, code modified in a higher version of Scilab cannot be reused in the lower version. I have already installed Scilab 5.3.3. Now the next step is to download the experiment Scilab code. Open a web browser. In the address bar, type os-hardware.in and press the enter key. This is the website for open source hardware. Click on the project SBHS. On the left hand side, click on downloads. Click on the download link for SBHS Scilab codes for Windows. It will download the Scilab code. Save it on desktop. Here it is. The file downloaded will be in a zip format. Extract the content of this zip file on the desktop. To do so, right click on it and choose extract here. The contents inside this folder will be discussed at a later part of this tutorial. Now let us see the SBHS Virtual Labs website. On the left hand side, click on the link Virtual Labs. This is the interface from where one can gain access to do remote experiments on SBHS. A first time user needs to register once by clicking on the Login Register option. After this, a form has to be filled and submitted. An activation link is emailed to the user after the form is submitted successfully. The link received in the email should be used to complete the registration process. Note that the activation process may not be immediate. It may take a few minutes. I will now log in with my registered account. I will enter my username and password. After a successful login, a user has access to book slot, view delete slot, etc. A slot is the time duration in which you can perform an experiment. In our case, a slot lasts for 55 minutes of every hour. After clicking on the book slot option, the client will have two choices. One can either book the current slot or a future slot. Book now option will appear only if the current slot is vacant. Book future slot option will always be available. It will allow two non-consecutive slots to be booked each day. I will click on the book now option. You will receive an acknowledgement with your booking details appearing on the top side. The slot booking part is over. Let us now run a simple step test experiment downloaded from the website. Open the folder you downloaded and saved on the desktop. You can see that there is a step test folder and a common files folder. Do not move any of the folders from their location. If the directory structure is changed, the experiment will not execute. If you want one experiment to be copied elsewhere, Make sure you copy the common files folder too. However, 
make sure the common files folder is always outside the experiment folder. Open the common files folder. Open the file config. This file is used to do the proxy settings. Do not change the contents of the config file if you are inside IIT Bombay or you are outside IIT Bombay and using an open network. For example, at home or using a mobile internet. Change the contents of the config file if you are outside IIT Bombay and using a proxy network. For example, at an institute, office, etc. Put the value of use proxy as yes with Y capital. Change the other details as per the proxy network which you are on. Save and close this file. Open the step test folder. Locate and double click on the file run. It will open the Python based SBHS client application. Note that the first time execution of this file will take a minute to open the SBHS client. It will show various parameters of the experiment like SBHS connection, client version, user login and experiment status. Green dots mean that the SBHS client can connect to the server. It also shows that the client version I am using is the latest. User login and experiment status is red because I have still not logged in and the experiment is not running. It will also give you an option to log in. Type your username and password. This username and password is the same as you used to book a slot. Click on login. Ensure that you log in on the booked date and time with correct login details. Expect the message ready to execute Scilab code. Switch to the step test folder which has the experiment files. Double click on the step C file. This should open Scilab automatically. It should also open the file in Scilab editor. If it doesn't, click on the file menu. Click on open a file. Choose the file step C and click on open. Switch to the Scilab console. Type the command get d space dot dot slash common files and press enter. Switch to the Scilab editor. On the menu bar, click on execute option and then click on file with echo. If the network is working properly, it will open an XCOS diagram. If it doesn't, it will show error on the Scilab console. Using the step test XCOS diagram, we can set the experiment parameters such as heat and fan. Double click on each block to change its parameters. I will set the heat to vary from 30% to 45% after 300 seconds. I will put the initial value as 30, final value equal to 45 and step time equal to 300. Similarly, I will set the fan to be constant at 50% which is the default value. Now let us save and execute the XCOS diagram. To execute, click on start button on the menu bar. If there is no error, it will open a plot window. It will consist of three graphs, heat, fan and temperature from top to bottom. Switch to the SBHS client. It shows the values of current iteration, heat, fan, temperature and time left for experimentation. It shows the log file name it has created for this experiment. Switch to the browser. Click on the show video option. It will give a live video feed of the SBHS you are currently accessing. 
This is a real experiment and will take some time to complete. I will pause this recording for some time and then resume again. After sufficient time of experiment, the graph obtained is as shown. I will stop the simulation by clicking on the stop button available on the XCOS window. Close the SBHS client window after the experiment is over. Now switch to the experiment folder and open the logs folder. It will have a folder named after your username. Open this folder and locate your log file. Read the log file name as year, month, date, hours, minutes, seconds, dot txt. Use this log file for further analysis. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned what are the software installations required to do a remote experiment on SBHS, how to use the SBHS Virtual Labs website, how to use the Python based SBHS client application, how to execute the Scilab code of an experiment. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at http colon slash slash spoken iphone tutorial dot org slash nmeict iphone intro. Thanks for joining. This is Rupak Rokre from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you.